what is the primary function of the respiratory system your options are digestion circulation oxygenation or temperature regulation the correct answer is c that is oxygenation the main function of the respiratory system is to facilitate the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide crucial for cellular respiration question number 2 which structure prevents food and liquids from entering the trachea during swallowing your options are epiglottis bronchi alveoli or diaphragm the correct answer is a that is epiglottis the epiglottis acts as a flap that covers the trachea during swallowing preventing the entry of substances into the airway question number 3 where does gas exchange primarily occur in the respiratory system your options are bronchi alveoli trachea or bronchioles the correct answer is b that is alveoli gas exchange where oxygen is taken up and carbon dioxide is released occurs in the tiny air sacs called alveoli question number 4 what is the role of cilia in the respiratory system your options are gas exchange mucus production filtration of air or oxygen transport the correct answer is c that is filtration of air cilia are hair like structures that move in coordinated waves helping to filter and move mucus and foreign particles out of the respiratory tract dear friends you are attending the most important and most repeated questions on human respiratory system these questions were repeated many times in many previous medical and nursing exams and i'm sure that you are very eager to learn and check your level of knowledge in human respiratory system so watch this video till end to add more information to your preparation and friends if the video is helpful then please do like and subscribe and share this video to every friend who are preparing for medical and nursing exams let's continue question number 5 which muscle is primarily responsible for breathing at rest your options are rectus abdominis diaphragm intercostal muscles or quadriceps the correct answer is b that is diaphragm diaphragm is the main muscle for breathing at rest contracting and relaxing to change during inhalation and exhalation question number 6 which gas transported by hemoglobin in red blood cells your options are oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen or hydrogen the correct answer is a that is oxygen hemoglobin binds with oxygen in the lungs and transports it to tissue throughout the body question number 7 What is the term for the process of breathing out air from the lungs? Your options are inhalation, exhalation, respiration or ventilation. The correct answer is B that is exhalation. Exhalation is the process of expelling air, releasing carbon dioxide from the lungs. Question number 8. Which respiratory disorder is characterized by inflammation and narrowing of the airways? Your options are pneumonia, asthma, bronchitis or emphysema. The correct answer is B that is asthma. Asthma involves inflammation, bronchoconstrictions and increased mucus production in the airways. Question number 9. What is the purpose of self actant in the alveoli? Your options are gas exchange, preventing collapse, filtration or mucus production. The correct answer is B that is preventing collapse. Self actant reduces surface tension in the alveoli. 
preventing them from collapsing during exhalation question number 10 where does the process of external respiration occur your options are lungs nose trachea or pharynx the correct answer is a that is lungs external respiration involves the exchange of gases in the lungs specifically in the alveoli question number 11 which part of the brain controls the rate and depth of breathing your options are cerebrum medulla oblongata cerebellum or hypothalamus the correct answer is b that is medulla oblongata the medulla oblongata is responsible for regulating involuntary functions including breathing question number 12 what triggers the urge to breathe in a healthy individual your options are decreased oxygen levels increased carbon dioxide levels increased oxygen levels or decreased carbon dioxide levels the correct answer is b that is increased carbon dioxide levels the primary stimulus for breathing is an increase in carbon dioxide levels in the blood question number 13 what is the purpose of the respiratory system's mucous membrane your options are oxygen transport filtration gas exchange or temperature regulations the correct answer is b that is filtration the mucous membrane helps to filter and humidify inhaled air trapping particles and pathogens question number 14 which component of tobacco smoke is a major cause of respiratory diseases including lung cancer your options are nicotine carbon monoxide tar or formaldehyde the correct answer is c that is tar the tar in tobacco smoke contains harmful substances linked to respiratory diseases and lung cancer question number 15 what is the term for the volume of air inspired or expired with each normal breath at rest your options are vital capacity tidal volume residual volume or inspiratory reserve volume the correct answer is b that is tidal volume the tidal volume is the amount of the air moved in and out of the lungs during normal breathing question number 16 in which part of the respiratory system do oxygen and carbon dioxide actually exchange with the blood your options are trachea bronchi alveoli or bronchioles the correct answer is c that is alveoli gas exchange between the air and the blood occurs in the alveoli where oxygen enters the blood stream and carbon dioxide is removed question number 17 what is the primary function of the ciliated cells in the respiratory tract the options are oxygen transport filtration gas exchange or mucus production the correct answer is b that is filtration ciliated cells with the mucus help to filter and trap particles preventing them from reaching the lungs question number 18 what is the role of the intercostal muscles during inhalation your options are contracting to relax the diaphragm relaxing to allow the diaphragm to contract expanding the thoracic cavity or decreasing lung volume the correct answer is c that is expanding the thoracic cavity the intercostal muscles contract lifting the rib cage and expanding the thoracic cavity during inhalation question number 19 
what happens to the diaphragm during exhalation your options are contracts relaxes expands or elevates the correct answer is b that is relaxes the diaphragm relaxes moving upward and reducing the thoracic cavity volume during exhalation which gas is a waste product produced by cellular respiration and transported back to the lungs for elimination your options are nitrogen oxygen carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide the correct answer is d that is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is produced in cells during metabolism and transported to the lungs for removal from the body question number 21 what is the primary function of the pleura in the respiratory system your options are gas exchange lubrication and reduction of friction filtration or oxygen transport the correct answer is b that is lubrication and reduction of friction the pleura are membranes that produce fluid reducing friction between the lungs and chest wall during breathing question number 22 which respiratory disorder is characterized by the permanent enlargement of air spaces leading to difficulty exhaling your options are asthma pneumonia bronchitis or emphysema the correct answer is d that is emphysema emphysema results in the destruction of lung tissue leading to decreased elasticity and difficulty in exhaling question number 23 what initiates the involuntary rhythmic contraction of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles during normal breathing your options are conscious thought medulla oblongata epiglottis or phrenic nerve The correct answer is B that is medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata in the brain stem controls the basic rhythm of breathing. Question number 24 which respiratory parameter represents the maximum volume of air that can be moved in and out of the lungs? Your options are tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, vital capacity or residual volume the correct answer is c that is vital capacity the vital capacity is the maximum volume of air that can be moved in and out of the lungs in a single breath question number 25 what is the primary role of the nasal concha in the nasal cavity your options are filtration of air gas exchange mucus production or oxygenation the correct answer is a that is filtration of air the nasal concha increase the surface area of the nasal cavity aiding in the filtration and humidification of inhaled air so friends it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you take care